All right, let's go ahead and try this one more time. Uh, for this example, we're going to be finding the center of mass of the region bounded by y equals the sine of x and the x-axis between x equals 0 and x equals pi. The first thing we'll do is take a look at the graph of the sine function in between x equals 0 and x equals pi within the first quadrant. So this would be the region in question. Now one thing that we could probably deduce right away is that due to the symmetry of this region, my guess is that the center of mass, as far as the x-coordinate is concerned, is going to be exactly halfway through the region. So my guess is that we're going to get a pi over 2 in here as far as that's concerned. Now we will allow the numbers to uh, show us that we're right though. <clears throat> so three integrals that we need to set up. First one is going to be the area of the region. Area of the region is going to be a very straightforward definite integral from 0 to pi of the function in question. No top minus bottom, nothing fancy on this one. It's just straightforward. Can you integrate the sine function to get negative cosine? With that in mind, plugging in the bounds, we are going to get negative cosine of pi minus negative, so plus, cosine of 0. When simplified completely, we'll get that this is 1 plus 1, which will simplify to just 2. Oh, this is really blurry. Let's see if we can, can, can we, oh, all right, all right. Well, we'll keep going and hopefully it'll work out okay. For the moment about the y-axis, disregarding the density of the region, we would need the definite integral from 0 to pi of x times the function in question. Now for this one, we are going to need integration by parts due to the fact that we have the product of an algebraic and a trigonometric function. As such, we'll let u be equal to x. We'll let dv be equal to everything else, the sine of x dx. Therefore, du is going to be equal to dx, and v is going to be equal to the same integral as what we got on the previous problem. That will be the negative cosine of x. We'll save the plugging in bounds for after we're already done. We'll multiply u times v. We get negative x times the cosine of x minus the integral of v times du. So that'll be negative cosine of x dx. Bounds are still 0 to pi. And we'll just go ahead and wait until we're done integrating before we evaluate. Negative x cosine of x. This would be plus the integral of the cosine of x. Integral of the cosine of x is going to be the sine of x, and this will be going from lower bound 0 to upper bound pi. Plugging in these bounds, we will get negative pi times the cosine of pi plus the sine of pi, and we will be subtracting the negative 0 times the cosine of 0 plus the sine of zero. So good news is this term is zero, this term is zero, and this term is zero, leaving us with just negative pi times the cosine of pi. Cosine of pi is negative one, so negative pi times negative one will give us pi. And indeed, if we were to divide this moment by this area, we would get our x-coordinate for the center of mass. That is going to be pi over two, as we had previously predicted from the symmetry. So with those things in mind, let's keep this guy going. This time we'll do the moment about the x-axis divided by rho, disregarding the density of our lamina here. This one will be the definite integral from 0 to pi of 1 half times the function squared, function once more being the sine of x. Now in order for us to evaluate this, we are going to need a power reducing identity for the sine squared. We'll take the 1 half and move it outside of the integral. And then we'll apply the power reducing identity to the sine squared of x. That is 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of 2x, giving us an extra factor of 1 half. So we'll take those two 1 halves and combine them into one single fraction. We'll call that 1 quarter. And then integrating the other two terms, we are going to get x minus the sine of 2x divided by 2. 
This is once more going from 0 to pi. Plugging in these bounds, we'll get 1 quarter of pi minus the sine of 2 pi over 2 minus 0 minus the sine of 0 over 2. Good news is this term is 0, this term is 0, and this term is 0, leaving us with only pi over 4. Now if I take that value and I divide by the original area, that'll give us our y-coordinate of the center of mass. Y-coordinate is going to be, so we'll call that pi over 4, divided by 2, which will simplify to pi over 8. So center of mass for this region is going to be the ordered pair pi over 2 comma pi over 8. And hopefully that's in focus enough for people to have been able to follow along.